Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video with some general tips and some things to have on hand if you have a nitro car. And uh, one of the most, single most important things to have is uh, air filter oil. Okay? The air filter is probably the most crucial thing to take care of on a nitro vehicle. Uh, after so many runs, depending where you're running it, sand, dirt, dust, very dusty environment, uh, you should do it uh, after every, every run or two. Uh, at least check it. Now most of these vehicles will have a pre-filter that doesn't get oiled. All right, You oil the main filter, then you slide the dry pre-filter over it. That collects the main dust. Uh, that you can just wash in general soap and water. Uh, but if you're running on grass, you might not have to do it as often. Maybe every two or three, four runs. But in heavy, dusty environments, definitely check that after every run or two. Um, it really is the most important thing on these vehicles, guys. Uh, you do not ever want to run one of these vehicles without an air filter. It only takes a couple little grains of sand to get into that carburetor and into that engine and it's destroyed. And you're out a couple hundred dollars. Uh, what I usually do is I'll wash the uh, air filter with some soap and water. And you can let it air dry or you can take a hair dryer to it if you want to dry it quickly. It's a good idea to have a few on hand. You can get a bag usually of three or four or, or a bag of two. Once it's dry, put a generous amount of this inside of like a Ziploc bag and throw the filter in, you know, first move the bag all around with the oil in it and throw the filter in there so it's not all gobbed in one area of the bag. You know, go around like that inside the bag, take it out, and you can pop it back on. The next thing, if you're storing these vehicles for any length of time, this is called a, a run-after oil. And, uh, these don't cost that much. You can usually get a three-pack of the, of the uh, air filter oil to run after and some Loctite for maybe $11, $12. Uh, what you do with this, uh, this is more or less if you're going to be uh, storing it for an extended period of time what's an extended period of time, maybe a month or more, depending where you're storing the vehicle. Uh, but basically, and it also makes the engine easier to start for somebody breaking in an engine. I'll use these on engine break-ins. I'll put like seven or eight drops down there. And then uh, move the car around so the oil is on top of the piston sliding down on the walls. And you can also leave your glow plug undone just a little bit to kill the compression when you're uh, breaking in a vehicle. How you use this, you take out your uh, glow plug, carefully drop this down. It's, it's up to you how much you want to use. Uh, I'll usually use anywhere from six to seven drops. Maybe put a couple, move the car around, put a few more, put a couple drops down inside the carburetor mouth, and then close the carburetor. And uh, this will really help protect your engine and help protect your investment. It's a good idea to have a couple Loctites on hand. Uh, these vehicles vibrate and bounce around a lot. Uh, anything that's going metal into metal, you want to use Loctite. Uh, I don't recommend using the one I'm holding here, which is the red Loctite, uh, because it can really cause you a lot of trouble taking it apart. I usually use the blue medium strength uh, and having some of this, this comes in uh, different actually the amounts of seconds that it cures. This is a 5 to 10 second. This is a, pr a Proline Premium Blend CA uh, glue. Sometimes you'll need this if your tires will come uh, loose a little bit around the rims. Uh, I have never had to use this on my AKA tires and rims that come pre-assembled, uh, but I have this on hand anyways, just in case I do need it. Uh, you'll need different, uh, you can get this is a shock oil. This comes in a lot of different weights. Uh, this particular one I have is made by 
team associated, but you can get them by different brands, Losi, and everybody makes their own. Uh, it's good to start out. I have a 50 weight and a 40 weight basic weights, you know, to start out with. Uh, when you're doing your gearboxes there, differentials, you can you have the option to either use a grease. This is a black grease, a DuraBlend. Uh, this is a synthetic blend grease. And you also have the options to either use that or you can use different uh, weights of uh, silicon. Okay, but those are really uh, your choices, either the grease or the silicone for your gearboxes. Uh, so anyways, this is just some general, uh, you know, little tips of stuff to have on hand. Uh, you know, obviously you need your tools, have your tools on hand. I can show you what I use a lot for these. This is a, these are very affordable, they're around $14, I think. These are a set of dynamite uh, metrics has all the ones you need to work on these vehicles. And, uh, I've got, actually bought two sets of these, one for my nitro, one for my helicopters, and these work real good and they're not, they don't kill you on price and I've never had any of them strip out on me or uh, give me any kind of trouble. So anyways guys, that's just a few little tips. I hope you got something out of this. I thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Thank you.